episode of minecraft war here on the channel guys before we get into this episode i just want to say a big huge thank you for all the support in the show you guys are absolutely and i love this you guys are loving this show you are so invested in this show and just thank you very much for tuning into this daily show every single day when i made this show originally back at episode one I thought no one would really be interested in it. I thought it would be kind of a thing that I would like doing, but it wouldn't really do well on my channel. But you guys seem to be really, really enjoying it. And it's just, it's just a great thing to see. It really is. So thank you very much. If you guys want to keep smashing that like button, showing some support, that would be greatly appreciated. Now, though I have to say something. So the admins of the Minecraft War Show have advised me to look away from the comments for the next couple of episodes or videos or for however long they say, okay, you can read them now and look back. So I have to look away from the comments like from now on from this video until the next few days I can't look at the comments. I've been advised not to if I do I will apparently spoil things big time and it will not be fun apparently that's what the admin said. So I need to sit back not read comments and usually that mean that is a bad thing. I'm just saying if he's saying that I can't look at comments that's a bad thing. Something is coming my way that involves me obviously. And I'm just going to take a pot shot right here. J-Tom has a nuke. That's what he has. J-Tom has a nuke. Because why else would there be so much hush hush? <laughs> but that's fine. We're going to get a nuke of our own. But I don't know if that's true. Because I know J-Tom's had a bit of trouble in Paradise. With his team members and stuff. Especially his guy that can make nukes. Apparently I see their head in them. I have a bit of a disagreement at times. So I don't know if they're even close to getting a nuke. But something is going down, and sorry guys, I have to I have to look away from the comments for a little bit to not spoil the show. But no matter what happens, it's all cool because this game is for fun. Anything that happens is all for fun. We'll make it fun. Well, I'll hopefully make the best out of whatever happens. But today, guys, I am going to be showing off the nuclear facility. I, I'm okay. I'm just gonna say this right here, right now. Um, I'm not against nukes. I believe it's the only way that's going to end this war between me and J-Tom. It is currently right now a race to make a nuke and we are currently really, really on the ball right now. We are really on the ball. Like, really on the ball. And like I said, Isler Head has been having a bit of a disagreement with J-Tom. So hopefully that's slowing down their nuclear mission. But an R1 is still racing ahead, like absolutely racing ahead. So I retract everything about not using nukes and trying to be nuke friendly. We're going for it. We're going to end this war because like I don't want to lose this war. I want to win. I lost the war with Captain. He outsmarted me 100%. So anyway, he done well. But I'm not losing this war. I think I can do this. We have the best team possible. Last season, our team was good. This team is amazing. But let me show you the nuclear facility. Recky and his team have been going absolutely ham. They've been using most of our resources, but they're part of the team now. And obviously, it's for a good cause. Like Recky is more important than me put it that way like he can end this right now well soon enough once he has everything done but he can end it soon but they have been going ham on the nuclear facility i've only saw the outside i haven't actually explored the inside i've let them done the thing and um, i didn't really want to spoil it i kind of wanted to explore it with you guys and i want to see what they're doing but he said that they are basically getting prepared who knows they could even have a nuke already i have no idea i i don't think so i think he would have let me know but Reki did say he's going to be away for a few days, so that may put a halt on the nuke making, but it's fine. But here we have a missile silo with no missile in it, but this is where I'd be probably most likely launching missiles from. Because now with the new update to the server, we have a new HBM mod on it. And uh, now you can actually launch missiles from wherever you want, because missiles now load chunks. So you could be 10,000 blocks away and fire at JTOM's base, so... You can do some really good things and also you can now have alert system so that if a nuke is inbound or a missile you can actually get sirens that will go off in your base so you know to go take cover right now in the old mod if a missile was being fired at you there, there was no way of being alerted but here we have the air shuttle do not enter without protection of it obviously it's a freaking nuclear site i'm not going to enter without my hazmat suit you know what i mean so you got a door that goes left here i, I haven't been inside i've only seen the boxes like look at the new like the facility is absolutely huge and can I just say this, it's freaking blast proof. Like this is a strong base, like a nuke could probably destroy it. But like, if there is a mistake in the base or if it's gonna be attacked, like this is strong, very freaking strong. But it's not really made to be strong for attacks. It's made to be strong in case 
an error occurs, put it that way. <laughs> and it's very well lit up, or it should be anyway, so that no creepers spawn, especially no nuclear creepers. But here we've got stuff, like, see, the thing is, I haven't had time to invest in how all this works. Like, I have no idea how the mod works, but these guys do. And that's their vital mission. They know what they're doing. I keep them safe. I make the wars, I guess, and they get to do the stuff. But um, they have, like, these oil refineries and stuff, natural gas. They know what they're doing, but this mod is cool, and I wish I had the time to invest in how to, like, do everything, and I probably will eventually. But they're at it right now. They're doing their job, and that's all that matters. <laughs> so that's obviously, like, a refinery room or something like that. And you go down here, and I know, I think this is, like, the main lab room, where we have a little bit of a reactor here. This is what's powering the base. We got engines by the looks of it. Radioactive powered engines. Nice one. They look so cool. Like the textures on them are amazing. They look like jet engines. That's what they look like. I wonder if they are. So I like the look of this. I'm hoping that this is what he's using to uh, make nuclear weapons. As you, I can see a nuclear sign on it anyway. Or a radioactive sign or whatever that sign actually is. But like he's storing stuff. He's storing uranium up in this thing. That's pretty cool. I love that. You walk in here and you have your big reactor and all your engine rooms. Like, this is what's powering the whole place. And the thing is, we're gonna have to get cables that go from here all the way over to the main base. We'll need to get, like, a, some... I think Reki said he can get a missile system set up that can actually now shoot down missiles. There's actually a way to do it now, which is amazing. Then you come down here and then we've got some sort of farm area. I guess, you know, food. Why not? You never know when you're gonna need some food. <laughs> So really, this is a base within itself. Like, it can really just function by itself. It's not the safest base to be in, obviously, because you always need a hazmat suit. But I guess that's kind of a good thing as well. Because if people need to attack it, they need a hazmat suit. So it's a good thing. But I must admit, it looks super cool. I like the glass. I like the vibe you get from it. But there are other cool stuff. And I've just got to admit, like, Reki, like, you, got, you guys have been going ham. And thank you very much. So this is leading to nuclear storage and satellite launcher. This is probably where... You're gonna need your hazmat suit. You know what I mean? You're gonna need it. What's really cool here as well, we have like a little like silo as well. That's really cool. <laughs> you can right click it open. So you jump down here and then what's this? Like, it's kind of like a bunker really. We should just probably move all like, we should probably like remove vault one and just like move down here. What's that? Whoa. Yo, that's so cool. I didn't know you could do that with that. Oh, that's epic. Okay, that's a speedy way to get up to the ground. That's all I'm gonna say. That's amazing. So then you come over here to the satellite launcher. This is very important and this is going to be actually probably our main launch site as well, let's be honest. But I can confirm to you this. This is what Reki and um, most of his team spent the longest on. It's amazing. This is cool as well. Like you can just speed right through it. Oh my god, that's so good. That's so speedy. You should have that to, like, we should just have that going across the world. It's faster than vehicles. I bet you'd crash after a bit, though. So here we have the satellite launching area. Now, the reason why this place is disconnected from the actual main area is because you haven't seen them yet. But when they launch into the sky, it goes into space, basically. And the boosters then fall back to Earth and just explode. So, like, four little mini missiles. And obviously, we don't want anything damaging the base. So that's why they're a decent bit away from the base over there. But they could still hit it, but... The chances are, the chances are low, you know what I mean? But I'm just gonna hop into a spectator mode to show what this place actually looks like. This is so cool. Like, I think this should be our launch site in general, to be honest. Because then if any mistakes happen, at least it blows up here and not over there. True, right? I think that's true. But this is amazing. And hopefully we're gonna be launching a satellite, maybe a nuke very soon <laughs> so anyway let's get back to the war so obviously since we do not have a nuke yet that doesn't mean that we can't attack and still put on the pressure because especially if they're trying to make nukes we can make it harder for them we can obviously cause some conflicts because i believe after the last attack that jtom did that caused some friction inside the camp some some friction between obviously i see your head um and jtom and i think devatron got involved as well and i think i don't know if jtom or ice head is even still with jtom something happened i'm just not sure what so in the next episode i plan to do another bombing run on jtom 
And hopefully I'm going to use something that is a little bit more harder to shoot down. Maybe does more damage. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure the AC-130 is more superior. But I just kind of want to keep the pressure up and annoy him. But the AC-130 at the moment is too easily shot down. Because let's be honest, I haven't checked in his base in ages. But let's be honest, I'm pretty sure he probably has AA guns literally everywhere now. He would have to. So I believe I'm looking at the B2A Spirit Bomber. This is the vehicle I think I'm going to use. I don't know if it does a lot of damage, but it's more just an annoyance. It should do a bit of damage here and there, but it does have, I think it's a guided missile that does absolute mad damage. And you obviously can be quite accurate because it's guided. So anyway, I guess really what we'll be doing is we'll be making this, we'll be using it next episode, but it'd be for a bit of a mess around, you know what I mean? We're basically going to be testing out on Jayton's base while putting on the pressure. And it's a good excuse to see if he's ready for an attack. If he's not and we sniff weakness, then I think we should just go for a full-on ground attack. Okay, so for this, we need uh, gold, diamonds, TNT, and iron. Very easy um, to make. I think I should have made them a lot harder to make. Um, obviously, that's the general, but I think you can change them. Right, we need to have a look. Uh, we should have enough to do this. Or do we? I know, obviously, yeah. Supplies, like, a little bit are going low. Due to the fact that we are investing a lot into what we built over there. So we actually might have to go mining for our, for our actual bomber. <laughs> Look at our ore chest. Like, it's literally depleted nearly. We've got gunpowder, thank the lord. But everything's nearly depleted. Now, there is random ores around here somewhere. No one's built in. Oh, we have no racing 130. Oh, nice one. Someone built one. Okay, so we literally have zero supplies, so we need to go and obviously mine some diamonds. Don't worry, I'm not going to do that this episode. I'll do it off camera because let's be honest, you've seen Minecraft YouTubers mine billions and billions and billions of diamonds. And we will need to probably get some iron as well. We do, I found a little bit, so it should be enough, but I'll probably mine some more just so we have more. We're, go we're going very low, but it's not that we're poor either. Like, yeah, we I guess we're poor. Yeah, would you say we're poor? Like... We just don't have diamond stuff. We have loads of ton skin and steel and stuff, but we don't have diamonds. Like, we don't have to make weapons. Okay, right. We got some bandits here. Good time to test out some of the weapons I have. Just wanted to see what this is like. Now, this does seven damage, I think, per hit. And I, for some reason, put an ACOD scope on it. I really should have probably have a red dot with me in case for certain situations. But, um, don't know. I don't know if the ACOG site is the right thing to have. Right, where's my helicopter? Because seriously, I can't find it. Okay, so we're heading back to Vault 1 to make sure that everything is okay. Last time I checked, there was there was a missile fired. Uh, I still don't know who fired that missile, but I haven't heard any bad news. Like, I haven't heard, oh, your vault's been raided. So, I think everything should be okay. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Okay, well, we're here. I don't see any signs or anything like left around, which is good. Usually when I used to come here, there used to be signs everywhere. I'm kind of thinking that maybe I should just move everything into the nuclear facility. Like there is a decent bunker underneath there. I, I never planned to move far away from this base. Like I, was, I planned to always live around this bunker, but now I live so far away from it that it's so hard to actually defend. So what do I do? <laughs> Do I keep it? I guess I keep it until it blows up, but I don't know. To be honest, I think it's time. I think it's time we fire the Doomsday Missile. It, I don't think it'll do a lot of damage. You know, instead of like, yeah, we're trying to make our nuclear missile, but there's nothing stopping us really ramping up the pressure. I think what we're going to do today is we're going to do, or tomorrow, we're going to do a bomber run. We're going to test out that bomber, see how much damage it does, and also maybe weaken up the base. Then the next day, we're going to do a bombing run. We're just going to bombard the base with a we'll start off with a spare missile no bunker buster these don't do that much damage i know they don't bunker buster spare missile bomblet rain and then we'll hit him with a doomsday missile this does a bit more damage it's not nuclear i thought it was but uh we're gonna take these out of the vault and obviously bring them with us but that's what we're going to do or we're gonna at least we might not do it tomorrow We might not even do what we're gonna say tomorrow because I need to make sure I get the materials to go bombing him But uh, look out for a bit of a Something happening soon. I'm gonna use these missiles. I have to oh, I was gonna say let me know down in the comments below if you think I should do a Spirit bomber like a plane bombing or should I just use these but then I realized I can't read comments <laughs> Why <laughs> 
Anyway, guys, I am going to end this episode here. I think I've decided I'm going for a full-on attack slash raid tomorrow. I'm, I think it's the I think it's time to start stealing stuff for them. You know what I mean? It's it's got to that time. So I think we're gonna go for a full-on attack tomorrow. We're gonna have someone standing by with the missiles ready to be fired while we're in there. Obviously, we'll be standing back when they're coming in. And hopefully while that is going on, while they're distracted by them, we'll also be attacking them and attempting to raid them as well and take some of their stuff. Now, whatever we find inside that base, I don't think will be their main stuff. I'm pretty sure he has a vault with backup stuff, everything like that. But we will raid as much as we can within moderation. Now, you got to remember, we can't go take everything. Well, we could. But you got to be fair. You know what I mean? But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, look forward to next episode. That is the plan. It's not guaranteed. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.